I done found the feed, so let's get into this tea. Y'all, fur nephew had me up all night, so if I'm uh, coming off a little um, snappish, it's because I, I am. I am. All right, so this is what we're about to do. We're about to react first to Krishan um, doing 160 miles per hour to go get Junior um, from the daddy and uh, Marsh, okay, uh, at about 4 o'clock in the morning, okay? So we about to react to that. Let's get into it. Why was he the first nigga with a key to the house? Krishan, I thought you was changing the locks. You know what? It ain't the time for that yet. the dad the fuck is wrong with this nigga you are the dad you're there at 4 a.m you're the dad why does my son not have a mom or dad at four in the morning when the daddy is there the thought of entertaining this nigga is blasphemy Anyway. I, I look. I'm recording. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Whoa, I'm recording. I... Krishan. <laughs> baby dad, bit of baby daddy check one on one. You don't tell the goddamn abuser that you're recording him. She was scared as hell. Had to be. Had to be. Why would you tell him that? Hey, I look. I'm okay. Okay. You're right. Okay. See, that set him off. You want me to be quiet? You want me to be quiet? Hello? I wouldn't have told him shit. But it makes sense of her being afraid because... Niggas just don't be snatching snatching um seeds out here at four o'clock in the morning. And they yeah, they do. Okay, whatever. Jesus. Hello? I wouldn't have yeah. never told him that. Where you at? Marsh, don't let him leave. Marsh, don't let him leave. Period. Blue, she is a parent. This nigga's stupid. <laughs> Mark, shut up, Marsh. You, he got, he got the baby. Be quiet. He got the baby. Marsh, Marsh. It's like the word, bro. Got the baby, bro. Hello, blue, blue. Marsh, Marsh, Marsh. Marsh, chill out, bro. Marsh, not arguing. Do I not arguing, bro? She we said that nigga off with that report. Stop being smart, bro. What is this a cop? No, just slow down. I can't slow down. Jay, I'm going 160. No, I know, I know, but oh my god, bro. Oh, That's dangerous. Your baby daddy is dead at four in the morning. 
So the son was in the bed with another man. Seems to be that's what set him off. Well, no. First of all, look at me. You shouldn't even be over there at four in the morning and you don't live there. That's number one. But number two, he shouldn't have had a key. He shouldn't have never had a key, bro. <sighs> This is terrible. He said, he said he BD did, huh? He said, and your BD did. Oh, why would he say that? What? My son is staying with you and your baby daddy is dead at four in the morning. My son is staying with you and your baby daddy is dead at four in the morning. Like what? Yo. Man, she should have been left this nigga alone, bro. Real shit. This, yo. Yo. That's some evil shit to say, bro. All this whole, like... See, I know the women of the internet that's on the Glock 19 side. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Because this is crazy. Some of the things that some of y'all go through for the sake of, that's my child's father. And they treat you like you a hoe and he your pimp drives me up a wall bro like for real like he's so dangerous i would know how to deal with him because i would be so afraid of him you know what scary people do anything <laughs> scary people do anything to make sure that they stay alive The Glock 19 side of women and the bow down side of women is a bad, bad thing, bro. Like, the type of danger he could have put everybody in at night is worth living for. You get what I'm saying? Because we always say it's worth dying for. And I feel like when you say it's worth dying for, that means you're willing to die. But what's wrong with saying I'm willing to be alive? You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to live by mine. Because I got to make sure he's straight, she's straight, away from this monster. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how they treating a the nigga, but that's how he acting, bro. It's just women should be more on the Glock 19 side, bro. Like real shit. Get that. She's coming. I'm ready for her to pull up so I can slap the fuck out of her. Y'all remember the nigga said he only put his hands on her when she put her hands on him. So he could just openly say he going to slap me. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this gives me like chills, bro. I ain't going to lie. Y'all know energy is a transfer thing. You know what I'm saying? And quite frankly, when we get to indulging in this, it gets deeper and deeper every time. Right. And this energy was deep on this good morning. I can't wait till she get here so I can slap the fuck out of her. I wouldn't wait to be able to pull up. Like, for real. Like, I just don't understand. Like, let me pull up, hop out, and I know you said you gonna slap me. Nick, he got the baby in his hand. Mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to take the slap. For that reason. Because, see, 
he'll get hurt whether he slapped me or not. Y'all better start being ready to live by some shit. Because if you're ready to die about it, and the person you letting kill you, you know they, you know, they'll do anything to hurt you. And you let them kill you, don't y'all know you keeping them here with the monster? Mind you, I don't, I'm not talking about, you don't always have to, you know, send a nigga upstairs. You just got to make sure he know not to ever think he can slap you again. I can't wait till she get here so I can slap the fuck out of her. You gave me a warning? I love warnings. Oh, my God, I got a warning. Y'all, warnings is the best thing that you could ever have. God send those. God sends you warnings, bro. Y'all better learn to take them shits. Oh, man. Okay. okay. Can we just wait for her? Alexa, oh, turn what the lights up 20%. Marsh, get on his face. Chill out. Marsh, hurry. Hurry, hurry, chill out. Hurry, chill out. Hurry, chill out. Y'all, bodyguards ain't... <laughs> bodyguards ain't always the best thing, because... Nine times out of ten, that nigga gonna be on blue side. You ever heard all these stories of these bodyguards um, not making sure that these women straight? Cassie, y'all better learn to be your own fucking bodyguard. What is it that we always look for a man to protect us? <laughs> that's the problem. And I feel like that's what life was de designed to be. But yeah, times have changed. And it's nothing for you to see on the screen. It's black, purple as hell. Like, Times have changed, for real. Why are we always, I'm going to wait for the police. She had a restraining order out on this man since the beginning. So we, we still waiting on the police? <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? I know you don't see the video. It's nothing to see. What do you see on this video? What do you see? I don't see nothing either. Like, y'all better learn. I'm telling y'all better learn ASAP to live by some shit for real. Y'all better learn to live about some shit, boy. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have showed the screen at all because I know they're going to yell a boy at me. I still understand with Marsh because it's some big reverse. No blue. No blue. We have to stay right here in this car broken. We have a baby. What? Yeah, but she got a protector because he was the last one she was with. Not only that, uh, you wrecked a car. You fucking. Man, please. First of all, don't ever tell the person that's abusing you that you got them, you, you recording them. Y'all, come on, bruh. I've learned that God definitely make us all the way he wants us to be or whoever you believe in. We definitely designed to be the way, um, you know, we are. But I will say that God has traffic signals. He has signs everywhere. I think Blueface said that the other day. <laughs> like, how, how would you even be able to activate in this world without a sign? Without a signal. Stop playing with me, bro. Y'all better start listening to these signs like real shit. <laughs> like real shit. Bruh. 
This this right here is so dangerous, and I would treat it like that. I would treat this shit like like danger, but I would become dangerous because it is what it is. It is what it is. Like I get it. You, you a crip? You, you all the yeah. It is what it is. Cause at this point, I'm in danger, bro. This is crazy. I will say, I, I had to learn it, though. I had to learn. Damn, bro. I feel bad for her. I feel bad for her and Jaden. They dealing with a motherfucking fool. This is past crip. Like, this is past gangster. Nigga, you, you're a fucking devil. Like, for real. Why are you here with my kid in the bed with you and your baby daddy dead at four in the morning? Like, how does that even, like, <laughs> how does that even correlate at all? Like, what does he have to do with that? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I guess we're going to be in, in some tear-jerking um, tear jerking events today. All right. Let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.